Today I'll tell you how I made this. Okay, so open Blender. And yes, first we'll do the Blender Rituals. Okay, now we're good to go. So press Shift A, add a plane. Press S to scale and press 3 to scale it three times. Now press Tab to enter edit mode. Now A to select all and right click, then select subdivide. Now press Shift R to repeat your last action to subdivide it even more. Now go to the Modifiers panel at a Displace Modify. Click on New, then click on this small stack icon. Now in the type select clouds. Bam! Adjust the size to make it look like an organic ground. Then select the plane and shade smooth. Again come to the modifiers panel and adjust the strength. Okay, so now come online and visit this Mixamo website. It's a great site for characters and animations. Log in however you want. In the characters tab search bar, type ninja. Yes, this one, select this. Now come to the animation tab and select any animation you like. And after you're done and ready, come to the right and click download. Yes, with skin. And the frames per second, the same as your Blender scene, I'll select 24, as it is the best for cinematic. Okay, now, come to Blender. In File, Import, FBX, and import the character from where you saved it in your damn PC. Woo, our character is already killing it, but his feet are clipping in the ground. To avoid this, select the ground plane and go to Edit Mode, and deselct the vertices just below both of his feet. Now come to this Vertex Properties panel, and in Group, click the plus sign. Name the Vertex Group, and click Assign. Okay, so now come to the Modifiers panel, and in the Displace Modifier. In the Vertex Group, select the group you just created. And boom, now this problem is solved. You can also adjust the mid-level to get these kind of result. Yeah, now he's looking more as a ninja. Now it's time to work on environment. For this I love and use this add-on called Botanic by Polygonic. Link is in the description. Add two flower sets to make them a new collection called Flowers. Now add a ninja type tree. Yeah, good looking. Place it behind our character. Also add two grass sets. Make them a new collection called Grass. Now Botanic comes with some cool features like adding wind animations to your trees, grass and everything to make it look even real. Man, I love Botanic. Now, for the background mountains, you just have to go to Edit Preference and in the add-on search for landscape. And check this box to enable this cool add-on that comes with Blender itself. Now, to add the mountain, press Shift-A, then in Mesh, select Landscape. Place it behind our character and tree. Now, also add a camera to see how the things are looking. Place it somewhere close to the ground. And decrease the focal length to 15 to add some realism. Now, one mountain is not enough, so we'll duplicate the mountain by pressing Alt-D. Yes, duplicating with Alt-D is better than Shift-D, because it just create instances that render faster. Okay, duplicate it a bunch of times and adjust their position. You can also press S then Z to scale it only, on the Z-axis, to make them differ from each other. Now select your camera and press I and add a keyframe, frame 1. Now go to the last frame and adjust your camera to another location, and again add the keyframe. Now you got that awesome slow-moving camera movement. Okay, so now it's time to add the grass and flowers to our ground plane. Select the ground plane, go to Particles Properties panel and click plus, change the type to hair and check advanced. Now check rotation and cramp up all the value to give it a randomized rotation that'll look natural. Now in the render panel, select render as as select collection. In the collection panel, click and select the grass, which we created before. And also name the particle system grass, 
Now scale up the size to see what you got. Oops, they aren't oriented well, no problem. Click on Object Rotation. Still nothing fixed. Now select both of your grass objects and press R, then Y, then 90 to rotate them on Y axis 90 degree. Ah, see, we got it right. I don't know why this is like this, but just remember it, because every time you have to do this. Now to increase the grass, go to Children. Choose Interpolated and change the render number same as the viewport and adjust according to your liking. Now come up and increase the randomization of the scale to make it look more natural. And below in the seed panel, change it until it fits your imagination. Now go to the camera view and see how cool is this looking. Now to the same for flowers, add a new particle system and adjust the same properties according to you. And check through your camera either you want to make any changes or not. Now press Z and select Material Preview. Then select Camera and Properties and select Depth of Field. And select the character to create a depth in the scene. And also check Motion Blur. Add a spotlight around our character and place it so that it only give light to the character. Again, go to Render Mode and see you can see some lights. Adjust the light until it looks good. Now we're lacking materials on our objects. Select the mountain and click on this search bar. This is an add-on blender kit. It's so useful as it is free and allows you to import objects, materials, scenes, and more. I'll Materials and Search Mountain. Then click this material to apply it on our mountain. But it isn't looking good. So, go to the UV Editing tab and select All and scale down the texture until it looks good on the mountain. And as you can see, the texture is applied to all the mountains because we duplicated them with Alt-D. Okay, so now we want to make our back tree reddish in color. So select the tree and go to Shading tab. Click this down arrow and select Leaves Texture. Now set the Hue value to 0.25. If you don't have this texture, you can simply add a Hue Saturation node between Base Color and Texture Map and do the following. Now we want to make our sky. For that, either you can use any HDRI from online for free, or you can add a sky pre-built in Blender that is so cool. Click on this yellow button and select Sky Texture. Leave it to Nishita. And make sure you're in Cycles Render Engine for better quality and result. And switch to Render Mode 321 and, my goodness, how cool is this looking? You can also tweak the lighting from here and get the desired results. Again, to apply ground texture to our ground plane, you can search in the Blender Kit search bar in Textures panel. Click whatever you like. Now everything is looking awesome, but still the scene looks kind of empty. Yeah, we can add leaves falling from the tree in the background to give it a, an even cooler look. Add a plane and place it somewhere up on the tree. Select the tree and go to Edit Mode and select some leaves by pressing L. It selects the linked geometry where your cursor is pointing. Press P to make them a different object. Add a particle system for that plane. Name it Leaves Emitter. Check Rotation and check Dynamic so they interact with anything dynamically. In Render as Object and select the leaves you just separated from the tree. Press Spacebar to start animation. Nothing to see, don't worry. Increase the size. And yes, there we go. Now increase the randomness, make it look even better. But they are just falling straight to the ground vertically. So in the velocity panel, increase the normal value to 10. Now it's looking more like a projectile motion. So in the velocity panel again, increase the randomize value to 5. And now you can see it's looking much organic and natural. Switch to render mode and look at that, what we just created together. I can watch this all day long. So select the plane and in the particle system, under viewport display, uncheck the box saying show emitter. And now the plane will no longer be in the scene, but the particles will keep coming. So after checking all the render properties, render your animation. And after some compositing, our scene looks like this. <laughs>